Oi? Interesting. Spike actually going to pull out the Roy here, so that's going to change things up um, a lot in terms of the matchup. But I think even still, Chez is going to be wanting to play his own game. Maybe 100%. sit back a little bit. Making Roy have to chase you down can be a, a big uh, turning point. I think Roy I think Roy lets you play a more patient game. Uh, but that is not what we're seeing here right now. They're both rushing in very quickly here. The, the, the thing is, despite, you know, Sonic taking his time and, and, being, and being slow, he is still a rush down character at the end of the day. He's super fast. He can hit you from all angles at all times. All right, that's what makes it so easy for him to switch that playstyle at will, you know. He, if he feels he's being too aggressive, it's very easy for him to get out of the situation and then tell, him, tell your opponent that they have to come to you. It's a solid start from both players here, though. Spike getting off the, getting on the board with 90% uh, here on Jez. Nice Good. F smash call out. Good call. There's that that uh, spring edge guard. Spike does well to tech though. It's what's so what's so funny about Sonic is seeing him go back and forth. You never know where he's gonna be on the stage. Yeah. You're always you're always meant to guys. Good up smash. Up smash. That's gonna be the first stock going Chez's way here. But at 107 against Roy, he may not live too much longer. He wanna get on a lot of damage here. Good back air, get him off ya. The but the footstool does not get him. Get up attack there. Chez piling on the damage though. And the star KO in the end from the up air. Spike Spike being put in a lot of tech situations. He isn't making techs at the moment. Let's see if he's able to address that. Roll there. Chez almost calling him out. Spike looking to equalize percentages here. Good back air. Chez going here. But the, the funny thing about Roy's a lot of safe aerials. If your aerial is yeah. very safe, well, you're able to build a wall, which is kind of good for Sonic, because Sonic wants to be able to go in at any time he can. But if you're able to build a wall... Interesting. Nice call out on the spot Let dodge from Shen. Large. But a recovery in the end from Spike. Now got a little bit of rage on him. Get the right call Whoa. out here. Good shot. They're just throwing haymakers at each other. Yes, I'd be not quite doing it there. Could have been risky, but Shen didn't quite have the punish ready. Very even match so far. Chez's back air is still not quite taking the stock. Spike just might make just it. Just made it. Oh, and the F smash call out. Chez another. He's, those F smashes have been really solid from Chez this I believe far. both of them on rolls as well. Yeah. Up B is not going to do it, but. Roy's up B, I would honestly say, is better than Krom's. I say this only, only because it's faster and it does more damage. Good call out. Trade there, ending up going Spike's way. And it's still very close here. Both players have. Kept it very even, but Spike... Good conversion. Woo! No real sign of it. ledge trap. Gets back to the middle of the stage. Another trade. They're trading a lot of hits here. I think we're going to see this one go down. Sorry. Good conversion there. Yeah, another one of those. Chez could maybe get this. Good shield. But not a lot of grabs this game. It's definitely who's going to stay in shield and who's going to let go first. There, Bear coming out. Another one. Is this it? Edge guard could be vital for Chez. Nice recovery though from Spike. Going high. Now the situation reverse. Spike got far too low though. And that will be game one going to Chez. Very close game in the end. That's an unfortunate ending really for Spike. 100%. Whenever you, whenever you get into those last minute edge guard situations, you just fast fall. It's hard to come back from those sometimes. Yeah. So once again, close game there, but Spike will be pro might be feeling himself. Honestly, he's done he's done quite well. Kept it very even. Chez just about getting the win there off that SD. But let's see if, if Spike is able to recuperate himself. Do you think we're gonna end up? Uh, do you think we'll get away from the Roy? Or you're, or you're looking? I think it was close enough. I think he sticks with the Roy here. I I wouldn't blame him honestly. I, I think it's a case of like sort of if it's if it's not broken, don't fix it. I mean, it's not like he, he didn't have too many problems as far as his his gameplay in that match. It's just that one mistake at the end there um, in, in going for that edge guard. Took him out in the end. But so yeah, he's going to stay with the Roy here. Small battlefield, I believe, was the pick. Not a bad pick. Able to close, smaller stage, able to close the gap a little bit faster. Yeah, that's going to be important for him as he tries to rush down the Sonic. Another trade there. They're going back and forth with these hits. Another F smash coming out from Chez. And a solid start for him with 63%. Spike trying to answer right back. 
working on the ledge trap there, but Chez able to get back. Good edge guard. Saved his jump, but it doesn't matter in the end. A nice little taunt there from Chez after the F smash. Chez really making it work with the F smashes here. Yeah, nice conversion there. Whiffing the back air. Spike might have needed that. Chez, you don't want to let Sonic run away with the lead, that's for sure. Chez not even running away with the lead. Chez running to the lead. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Nice jab. Not Good work the back there. Air, though. Didn't get the jab. I like how he stayed in shield there, waiting to see what uh, Spike would do after hitting his shield. Uh, Unfortunate SD for SD, Chez. A little Chez. bit of frustration there. You can see it. Let's see if Spike's able to maintain his composure and keep moving forward. Yeah, an SD apiece, but oh, Spike there goes it down. Is. Goodness me, another fastball by accident. Now will Chez be able to close this one out? Nice fair there. Chez. He's had these really solid conversions, getting a lot of damage off of them, and honestly, this could be it if he gets the edge guard. Chess has been really, really good at just keeping the pressure on and not letting Spike breathe, which is the opposite of what I honestly thought was going to happen. Yeah, I like that up there, though, from Spike to keep Chess from landing with the dare. Starting to answer back here with the back air. Side That's a do good that. kill! Really good kill. We're down to the white here. Last stock, this could be this make or break here for Spike. Yeah, put himself in a much better position there. Just got to be careful off stage. He's died twice to a fast fall. I don't think I've seen that many grabs. Yeah. I think they've been content to sort of get that hit, see if they can run with it, and if they can, they sort of back off. Good four Chez, smash. Once again, Chess is smash. making it work. Yeah. Bear not quite getting just, hit. They they both want to apply so much pressure to each other. It's just who's able to get the opening first. Good work there. Oh, and oh. another S smash to do it for Chez. Good work from Chez. A little head shake. And 2-0 in the end. Very close set, really. I feel like without the SDs from both players, we might have seen a third game. Oh, game hot. one, very close. Game two, not too much farther away. But in the end, it is Chez who takes the set 2-0 in the end. Definitely super evenly matched. Uh, it, it's exciting. They were both throwing haymakers at each other, letting none of it back. Uh, but I'm excited to see what Spike has to do um, going into losers because he looks good. Yeah, yeah, for, uh, definitely a solid showing.